Congratulations on your selection of the Plus 4. You've made a wise purchase. The Plus 4 is the first home computer ever designed especially for productivity applications. Of course, it's still able to do all the other things a home computer can be used for. This tape is designed to help you learn those other things your Plus 4 can do. You'll learn how to set up your Plus 4. Use the different functions of all the keys on the keyboard. Access different types of Commodore software. Use the mathematical, graphics, sound, and programming capabilities of your Plus 4. Unpacking your Commodore Plus 4. Now that you've opened the box containing your new Plus 4, the first thing that you should do is make sure that you have all the items on this list. You should have, one, your Commodore Plus 4. Two, the power supply. One end plugs into a wall outlet, the other plugs into the right side of the computer. Three, the TV switch box. This connects to the antenna jack on the back of your TV. You don't need the switch box if you plan to connect your Plus 4 to a monitor. Four, the RF cable. This connects the TV switch box to the RF output jack on the left side of the Plus 4. You don't need this cable to connect your Plus 4 to a monitor. Five, the user manual. Six, other assorted literature. Warranty card, Commodore Magazine subscription card. Seven, the Plus 4 built-in integrated software manual. Getting to know the switches and sockets. The right side of your Plus 4. One, the on-off switch. Your Plus 4 should be turned off when you install or remove cartridges or any peripheral device, such as a printer or disk drive. There is a red power light located below the keyboard on the left, so you can be sure whether power is off. Two, the reset button. There are two ways to use the reset button. The first way is using the reset button to reset your computer as if you'd just turned it on. Just press the reset button once. Remember, when you press the reset button, you lose any basic program currently in memory. Secondly, if you want to reset your plus four and keep your basic program, hold down the run stop key and then press the reset button. When you do this, your plus four goes to the built-in machine language monitor. Type an X and press the return key to get back to basic. Your program remains intact in the plus four memory. Just type list to display the program on your screen. When you press reset, the plus four automatically issues the new command, which clears the screen. This can be reversed. See the plus four programmer's reference guide for information on unnewing your program if you've pressed the reset button by accident. The left side of your plus four. The socket and the switch on the left side of the plus four are both used for TV connections. Neither is used if you're connecting your plus four to a monitor. The RF jack. And this is where you plug in one end of the RF cable, the thin black cable. You can plug either end into this jack and the other end into the TV switch box. The high low switch. This switch controls which channel is used for plus four video output. Set the HL switch to L for output on channel three. Set the HL switch to H for video on channel four. You can use either channel three or four on your TV to display the video picture from your computer. If you have a channel three TV station in your area, select channel four and vice versa. Experiment to see which setting gives you the best picture. Now let's look at the back of your computer. The sockets on the back connect a variety of accessories to your plus four. Each connector is different, so be sure you plug each accessory into the correct socket. First, we'll look at the power socket. The end of the power supply cable fits here. Plug the other end into a standard wall socket for three prong plugs. The serial bus. You can plug a disk drive or a printer into this socket. If you want to plug in both, first plug the disk drive into this opening. Then plug the printer cable into the back of the disk drive. The cassette port. The Commodore 1531 data set tape recorder plugs in here. The RS-232 port. Accessories such as a modem or an RS-232 adapter plug in here. An RS-232 adapter makes it possible to hook up accessories not accommodated by standard Commodore equipment ports. The memory expansion port. Plus four software cartridges and the plus four SFS 481 disk drive plug in here. Before you install or remove cartridges, make sure your plus four is off. Joy one and Joy two, the game ports. You can plug joysticks into these sockets. The plus four uses specially designed joysticks available from your Commodore dealer. And the video socket. 
This is where you plug in the cable that connects a monitor to your plus four. Although this socket is an eight pin connector, you can use a five pin cable in this socket as well. Commodore color monitors come with an eight pin cable for use with the plus four. Now let's check out setting up your plus four. To set up your plus four, you'll need at least two wall plugs, one for your plus four and one for your TV or monitor. If you're installing a disk drive and a printer, you'll need an additional wall plug. Your plus four should be placed a comfortable distance from your TV. Make sure that your computer is off before you start the setup. Check that the power light on the front left is not lit. Now, if you're connecting the plus four to a television set, you'll need a small screwdriver to attach the TV switch box. The way you connect the switch box depends on what type of antenna connection your TV set has. You need only connect the switch box once. When you want to use your computer, just move the switch to the computer position. When you want to watch TV, move the switch to TV. The switch box will not interfere with your TV reception. Now we'll set up the plus four. Step one, disconnect the antenna from your TV. Use a screwdriver to loosen the screws on the TV. Remember the two antenna leads. Step two, connect the TV switch box to the TV where the antenna leads were. Attach the leads on the box to the antenna input on your TV. Step three, connect the antenna to the switch box. Attach the leads from the antenna to the screws on the side of the switch box. Now, if you have the round coax type antenna connection on your TV, here's how it's done. Step one would be disconnect the antenna from your TV. Unscrew the antenna wire. You can disconnect it by hand. Step two, connect the switch box to your TV. Hand fasten it onto the antenna input post on the back of your TV. Step three, for the 75 ohm switch box, connect the antenna to the switch box hand turning the antenna cable into the switch box. Let's talk about selecting a channel on your TV. As we explained earlier, your TV should be set on either channel three or four when you're using your computer. Don't choose a channel that broadcasts in your area. If you use channel three, set the HL switch on the side of the computer to L. If you use channel four, set this switch to H. Connecting your Commodore Plus Four to a monitor. Now, if you're connecting your computer to a monitor instead of a TV, follow the instructions in the manual that is included with the monitor. Hooking up a monitor like the Commodore 1702 color monitor is simple. It requires only one cable that connects directly from your monitor to the video socket in the back of your computer. Now the final steps. First, attach the power supply cable from the power box to your plus four. Plug the round end of the cable into the power socket on the back of the computer and plug the power supply into the wall socket. If you're using a TV, make sure that the setting on the HL modulator and the channel on your TV are in agreement. If your computer is set at L, the TV must be on channel three. The TV should be tuned to channel four with your computer at H. Make sure that the switch box is set to the computer setting. If you're using a Commodore color monitor, use the rear jacks and check that the back front switch is set to back. Now turn on your computer. The switch is found on the right side as you face the plus four. If all is well, this message appears on your screen. The flashing cursor under the ready message tells you that the plus four is waiting for you to start typing. The background color is white, while the letters are printed in black with a light purple border around the screen. Check the troubleshooting chart if you have any problems. It is found on page 17 of your user's manual. You may need to adjust your TV set to get a sharper picture. It is now time to turn off this tape and refer to chapter one in the user's manual. When you've completed chapter one, turn on the tape again. We'll be here waiting for you.